Hey everyone, all right, you see some pretty cool stuff behind me and I'm gonna walk you through it really quickly. Today I wanna to talk to you about the law of attraction. You hear this all the time, right? And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm a huge, enormous believer in the law of attraction. Except with a little caveat that you're not just going to sit around and, okay, so, well, I got to tell you what the law of attraction says first. It basically says that you will achieve in your life that which you think about the most. So, there are things on this board that I think about a lot. Now, here's the deal, guys. I can't just park a chair in front of this and sit and stare at it all day long and think that miraculously something is going to appear in front of me. I think this is where a lot of people misunderstand the law of attraction. So I back it up with something called the law of action, which we'll talk about later. But the point today is I'm a big, big believer in vision boards. Huge, huge believer in vision boards. Now, what a vision board is is this. Okay, it's also called a dream board. It's a board and you put pictures on it. These pictures represent different things in your life that you want to achieve. All right, now I took that concept and I've had it, you know, since I started implementing it, it has transformed my life. It's the simplest concept. It's even been on Oprah. Oprah's talked about it. This is a world renowned concept. So, what I want you to do is this I want you to go get a whiteboard, okay? You don't have to go as far as what I've done back here, and I'll introduce you to this real quick. I want you to go get a whiteboard piece of paper that's this big. I want you to make a list of all the things you want to achieve in your life. Look, there's no one judging you. Whatever you want. It can be anything you want. You write it down. Make a list. You make a list. And then I want you to go to Google Images, all right? You just go to Google.com, you type that thing in, you click on Images, find a nice image that you like that represents that one thing that you really want to do, print it. Print it out, it can be whatever quality, and you glue it onto your whiteboard. That's it. And then that whiteboard sits in a place that you see all the time. Well, here's the deal. I took that concept to the next degree. I made a dream wall, a vision wall. Okay, this is where my dining table is. I stare at this at least three times a day when I'm eating. All right, and as you can see, there is from a car to something I want to do in my career, which is speak to 5,000 people, to, a, to a, uh, a board here that talks about financial freedom, what that means to me. I see this all the time, so I, I remind myself that that's what I want, to my nonprofit goal here, which is uh, to build educational facilities around the world for children who I feel deserve it but aren't getting it. Uh, there's a home that I've dreamt of. Uh, there's something related to health. As you guys know, I face a lot of illness. I face a lot of medical conditions in my life. Um, and then there's monetary, or there's like, uh, what is the word I want to say here? There's very uh, physical things that, one pe that people may look down upon, but I don't care. I would love to have a private jet one day. I want to have a private yacht. I want to have my own hotel series one day. I just introduced you to a bit of my dream wall. I'm going to keep adding to it. This entire wall could fill up and that would be brilliant, okay? Now, this is not where I stop. If you come to my computer, there is a dream board on the backdrop wall of my computer. If you look at my eyes, iPhone. There is a dream wall on the iPhone. I had tried to make sure my visions and my dreams, they follow me around. Now, in the future, we're also going to talk about things like law of action because just staring at them is not enough. But what happens, guys, is every morning, every lunchtime, every dinner, I stare at this, I remind myself why I'm doing what I'm doing. I remind myself that the tough times these are why I go through the tough times. You gotta continue to remind your mind. Remember, your mind again is your number one asset in whatever you wanna do in your life. And this is all about transforming your mind. Well, visually, you know, what you see goes to your mind right away. So you wanna always be seeing that what you wanna achieve. This is not my concept. I did not invent the dream board or the vision board. This is a world renowned concept that has worked and Oprah has had it on her show. I need you to do this. I need you to do it today. I don't want you to wait. I want you to at least make a list of your dreams from personal things, physical things, good relationship, from monetary related things to any dream you have. It's your board, all right? And I don't need you to go as far as a wall. You're welcome to. I love this. This is the most brilliant wall in my entire house. But I want you to at least go run to the nearest grocery store, run to the nearest supply store, buy a, uh, a, just a board and just start putting pictures on there and stare at it at least once a day, all right? So that's the concept of a dream board and that dream board or that vision board is going to build your law of attraction automatically and in the future we'll talk about law of action which is the final ingredients uh, to being able to re 
really, really add some rockets to what you want to do and to change this, change your mind. All right, so make your list, post it below, leave it in a comment, hit the Facebook like button so that other people can participate in this too, or at least leave a comment below. Have you ever used a dream board? Do you have any thoughts about it? Any comments? Talk to me. I'd love to see them and I'll definitely respond. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.